Lola, friends, and wow, that went really bad on the lighting there. So, here we go. We got it locked up. This is going to be a little bit weird on the lighting today. It's this green mat. It reflects so much. It's really hard to get things to uh, look right with this green mat, and the red doesn't really help either. Um, so, it's very clashy. As you can see, my hand almost looks different on each different mat, to be honest. But today, we are going to have a little battle here. Alolan Ninetales versus Decidueye. So it is the world champion deck. Uh, we have Ice Path for the win versus uh, Samurai Sniper. Now these two were in two different divisions. The Decidueye deck was in a... Uh, in the juniors division, I believe it lost to the champion who was playing Gardevoir. And uh, Lolan Ninetales was in the senior division and it won the senior division. Um, I can double check that by using this book here actually. Double check my math. Um, so Kabu got third place with this deck. And, uh, no, actually lost to the second place, who was playing a pink doesn't suit me Gardevoir deck. So, yeah. Lost to Gardevoir, unfortunately, but, uh, that's why we're not facing against Gardevoir, right? We are playing against a, go oh, wait, we're playing... Against a Ninetales deck. Did I put that in here? I must have. I hope so. I don't think I set it aside anywhere else. Just checking. Make sure I don't make any mistakes. Um, we only have one GX counter. So we'll put that on uh, the Ninetales side of things. And then I will uh, use a pin... Then I got in the uh, deck as the GX counter for the other deck. So if it's upright like that, we have not used our GX counter. As soon as I flip it over, it has been used. Um, we could just go get our other GX counter, but this way will work. Um, we'll go ahead and shuffle. We're going to make it where if it's uh, odd number, nine tails will start. If it's even number, decidui will start. It is an odd, so we will have a nine tails start this out for us. We're gonna stick our deck over here. Four and three. Let's get the CGY shuffled up here. Don't want to know where it is. And I just I had to bust out the decidui map for the the CGY deck. Um, I know it, it really messes up the lighting. But it was just like, if you're playing the Sidui, you need to play the Sidui mat that you can get from Rare Candy. So, let's go ahead. We will get started here. We are going to start with Ninetales here. And it looks like Coco is the starter. So let's go ahead, put six prizes over here. Four, five, and six. And make sure I can see all those. They are a little far away. Yes, they can. Okay, and Decidueye is actually, yeah, that's a rough start. Maybe, I don't know, I'm probably going to start with both, but the question is which one. Uh, Espeon's really better to play later in the game, but it looks like we have Ultra Ball. We have Ultra Ball to be able to get out. A Lele for a Bridget, so that's the plus side. Um, I guess we will put down Espeon and then put we'll leave Rowlet in our hand. And then go ahead and put six prizes out. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Shake hands for a good match. We got Coco versus Espeon to start it out with. And Alola Nine Tails is starting us off. Drawing for turn a water energy. This is not so good. We'll stick a water on Coco. And uh, Kukui for two cards because that's about where we're at. And we get the two Lele's. So we're going to save Lele for the next turn, I think. I don't believe there is a way that our opponent can do 120 damage next turn to be able to knock out Tapu Koko. Sorry, 110 damage. Wow, that's a bit of a rough start. I will put the Choice Band onto Koko as well. And pass! Kind of a rough start, but let's see how we can do this. We will draw a card. Is a grass energy. Ultra Ball, of course. We're going to toss out the Rowlet and the Decidueye to pull off a uh, Tapu Lele, I believe. We are going to Tapu Lele. Grab a Bridget, play that Bridget, grab a, sorry, this goes in the discard pile, Bridget, we will grab a Wimpod, a Rowlet, And probably another Rowlet. Because I could grab Coco. But, uh, do we have any more Rowlets? Well, actually, let's grab a uh, Top of Coco. We need that free retreater. Yeah. We need that free retreater. So we will fill our bench with Tapu Coco, Rowlet, and a Wimpod. Let me go ahead and shuffle the deck here. And our next move is to attach a Grass Energy to. A Wimpod, I believe. And then go ahead and... Revitalizer. Which grabs two Grass types, which grabs our Rowlet and our Decidueye. We played down our Rowlet in the last bench spot, and... Pass the turn. Wow, neither party could attack in the first turn. So let's go ahead. Back to Ninetales. Draw for turn. Throw an energy down. Tapu Lele for a Bridget. Probably. We'll put Lele back here. So we will grab that Bridget and play it. Grabbing Remoraid, a Lolan Vulpix, and one more basic card. Which is going to be... Probably a Sudowoodo. We want to kind of limit the, our opponent's bench here. Yeah, let's grab Sudowoodo. So it limits our opponent's bench to four, which means they have to get rid of something, and the obvious choice is Tapu Lele. Shuffle for turn. If you guys hear some background music, it's because the TV's on. Just try to drown it out. Um, or maybe I'll put some some music over this so that it can uh, 
have some music when I'm not talking. Okay, so it's still Lola Ninetales turn. We have another top of Layla. We could get another support, but we really don't need it. We're gonna throw the float stone onto Remoraid and question is to 20 damage across the board or start loading up uh, I can play out my entire hand so let's go ahead and flying flip which will do 50 damage to the Espeon because of the choice band and do 20 damage across the board so it's actually kind of a really good start for this Alolan Ninetales deck. Like everything now, even if there, it gets evolved, is pretty much a one-hit knockout. Which is pretty good. So now that it's uh, Decidueye's turn, let's go ahead and draw for turn. We get a VS Seeker. And we get VS Seeker before we get any supporters. So we could grab Bridget, which does us no good because it's we have a full bench. So we just kind of dead drew there, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, pass, which absolutely sucks. Draw for turn, via Seeker. We're gonna evolve into Nine Tails, play the Water Energy down on Nine Tails. Grab a supporter with Tapu Lele. Or Kukui. Let's not do that. Let's grab Kukui and play it. So draw two. Tapu Koko does 20 more damage. We get a VS Seeker and an Aqua Patch. We haven't discarded any energies yet. So Aqua Patch isn't going to do us any good. And we're probably just going to fly and flip again. Which does 70 damage this time. Which puts us up to 70 plus 50 is 120. Does another 20 damage here, and here, and here, and here. So wow, Coco by himself is going to be taking out Espeon in a second if the Sidroid does not get an option to trade them out. So we're going to go ahead and Guzma, bringing Espeon back to the bench, moving Tapu Koko up. And uh, because we can't attack still, we're going to pass. And we're still limited to four spaces. We forgot to bring something up. We're going to bring up uh, Pseudo Ludo here with that Guzma. They top deck a Guzma. Oh man. So, wow. That's pretty easy. Jeez. Yep. Guzma. Bring out the Espeon, of course. And wow, Tapu Koko. This is the power of Tapu Koko. Um, there's still more that we can play here. We just played Guzma. Uh, have we needed anything else? No. Tapu Koko's Flying Flip does 50 damage to the active, which knocks out Espeon. Does 20 damage to, to Rowlet, knocks it out. 20 damage to Rowlet, knocks it out. Puts Wimpod up to 60 and puts Tapu Koko up to 60. So that's two, three, four prizes in one turn. Tapu Koko by himself. Wow. Tapu Koko is crazy. Sorry if this is not as interesting as expected. Uh, I guess we will promote the Tapu Koko. Um, draw for turn. Sycamore, everything. 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Throw down a uh, wind pod. We don't have the dart tricks. We can, um, that's pointless now. Can put the grass energy. On Wimpod. And put the float stone on a Wimpod as well. And there's not much we can do after that. Except pass for turn. We've got no attacks off on this side of the field. Now Ninetales is cooking with fire. Has another water energy. And we can I'm not gonna rough seas because they can use it. No need to via seeker or anything like that. Uh we could though. It still falls shy of knocking out Coco though. Let's via Seeker up the Guzma. Bringing this Wimpod with the Float Stone up. And the quest. I think we're going to bring up Nine Tails. Yeah, we're going to bring up Nine Tails. And with that uh, Ice Blade. We are going to take out Tapu Coco. 6 plus 5 is 110. Yep. And take another prize card. Meaning it that Tapu Coco by himself can take the last prize card and finish this off. So draw for turn. A DCE. Uh, we will attach that to Wimpod here. Um, we could Fuel Blower. Taking out the choice band. And we can ace a roller here, or we can, uh. Yeah, I think our choice actually is we need to ace a roller up this wind pod so that it's not knocked out next turn. And play him back down. And, uh. Gnaw for 30 damage on this Ninetales. And then, I guess it didn't matter. Now the only option is for Ninetales to attach with the double colorless energy. Uh, rough seas, heal the damage. Throw a little Ninetales, Vulpix down. Via Seeker Kukui. And Blizzard Edge. To demolish Wimpod and take the last prize card. So, um, a lot shorter than expected. Ninetales kind of steamrolled this. Uh, I think if we had a game two, it would be different. This, if this card gets put down on this side of the field. And... They start being able to draw consistently. This deck will go off and just steamroll whoever they're facing. But uh, wow, I guess that that's what it is, guys. So that's Nine Tails versus Decidueye. Let me know which one was your favorite, and uh, if you guys would like to see a rematch, let me know that as well. And for now, I'm gonna clean up and. Uh, Get started on some other stuff. So thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys aloha, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.